Headlines today has been getting you ground reality of a security personnel's fight against Maoists in the aftermath of the deadly Chhattisgarh attack. Despite security agencies having expressed serious concern over the lack of connectivity in Nagzal affected areas, there is little work done on ground to bridge the communication gap. The Department of Telecom has delayed crucial communication project for four years which sought to establish 200 telecom towers in the blackout zone. The security forces are facing severe operational challenges due to lack of communication, sometimes even compromising the position of a men in uniform. The camp that you see behind me came up within days of that deadly assault on the state congress leadership here in Chhattisgarh. However, in complete contrast to the alacrity shown in this regard, a proposal to install a single I repeat, a single mobile phone communication tower in this region has been kept pending for years now. In fact, at the ambush site, on the side of Tongpal in Sukma, and from there to Bassa, which is almost 17 to 18 kilometers, there's absolutely no mobile phone connectivity whatsoever. The police has gone on record to highlight the importance of having such a capability with them, and they've also said that its absence is impacting their information gathering, intelligence gathering, and communication strategy. So there you have it, exclusive information coming in of how it seems that bureaucracy killed our Jawans even before the Maoists could. Headlines today bringing you this exclusive report of how our security personnel's fight against Maoists in the aftermath of the deadly Chhattisgarh attack still remains to be a reason for danger as far as they're concerned, despite security agencies having expressed serious concern over the lack of connectivity in the Nagzal affected areas. Very little work is being done at the ground. We're also being told that there's a huge communication gap. There were promises to bridge that. But as of now, while we speak, Chukut Parohit, who's been reporting from the Maoist area, has now told us that the Department of Telecom has delayed crucial communication projects by four years, which sought to establish more than 200 telecom towers in the blackout zone. Jugal Parod now joins me live from Chhattisgarh. Jugal, these are details that only go to prove how bureaucracy really, red tapism, killed our men even before the Maoists could in a way. That's correct, uh, uh, Vedika. In fact, what we understand uh, from the police is that uh, the presence of mobile phone connectivity in any area uh, does not only directly help them in, in, in you know, giving them the ease of communication, but also because the Maoists are often known to use mobile phone, it helps them to actually keep a tab on their activities. Also, a lot of information which has to otherwise now come manually into the police station, which obviously is a delayed and dated information, uh, can be sent to them much faster. There are several benefits that mobile phone towers can offer, and the police has seen those benefits coming through in areas where they've installed them. But right now, for almost two years, there are 73 towers which had to be installed in the Bastar region of Chhattisgarh, comprising of seven districts. And two years ago, the entire plan was finalized, everything was worked out, but yet they do not have even a single tower installed in these areas. The reason for that we have been given uh, to understand is that uh, the Ministry of Telecommunications uh, has not as of now finalized the working contract, finalized and given the tender to the people who need to execute that. And, and that's the reason why for two years after finalization, this project is languishing, the Jawans, even, uh, even, uh, even if one has to move out beyond the sphere of intelligence, it is a big morale booster for the Jawans who could then communicate with their, fam with their families and their loved ones. Today they do not have that facility. We saw uh, in, the, in the Jinam Ghati area where there's a camp which yes. was made after the, the incident of May last year. Jawans are staying there and they do not have any means to reach out to anyone, even if they are attacked. So it's a very, very dicey situation and it's, it's only unfortunate, one can say, uh, that despite the plan being formalized on paper, not a single brick has been installed, not a single tower, even work hasn't begun on even a single tower, Vedika. Shocking details coming out of Chhattisgarh. Jukul, thank you so much for joining us on the phone line there. We, of course, will keep tracking that big story coming out of the state.